sort of assigning to other people some exotic belief or some exotic stance or often some inferiority. I understand that this is a work of description, it is a work that's deeply researched, but is that enough? I mean, if this crisis of fakeness and fakery and truthiness is as profound as your book suggests that it is, doesn't that mean that, you know, all of us have some responsibility? And what is it? What's yours? Well, that's a great question. I mean, I think our responsibility is to think critically and to listen to each other and to talk, I think, you know, about some of these issues and not just let them be exploited by someone who wants to pretend to care about them but really is plagiarizing someone else's pain, say. And we might have to ask more of our systems, whether that's of our journalists who I think are working overtime and are catching a lot of these falsehoods, but also of our government, but also, as you point out, ourselves. I think that I try really hard to think about how we deceive ourselves and how we let ourselves be deceived. And race is one big component in that. And how can we get past that? It's something like the book asks, but also I think in asking starts to solve. That's Kevin Young. His latest book is Bunk, The Rise of Hoaxes, Humbug, Plagiarists, Phonies, Post Facts, and Fake News. He was kind enough to join us from our bureau in New York. Kevin Young, thank you so much for speaking with us. I hope we'll talk again. Me too. And it'll be the truth. <laughs> Nothing but. You're listening to All Things Considered from NPR News. More than 30,000.